Welcome back to Tuesdays with Tim, the podcast that touches on all things related to brain injuries among children and those impacted by my son, Luke. Today, we're going to be talking about nutrition. We're going to be talking about what helps children when it comes to nutrition and what doesn't help and what has hurt children. And um, today, my guest is Kendall with Kate Farms. Kendall, thank you very much for being here today. Yes, of course. I know that when Luke was in the hospital and sometimes early on he was affected by um, the formula that was given Mm -hmm. and we maybe had to change a couple of times Mm -hmm. and then after we left the hospital we had done some real food blends and learned a lot that what Luke was putting in his g-tube was affecting his brain Mm -hmm. can you elaborate and first before you even elaborate with that Tell me how long you've been with Kate Farms and where do we get the name Kate Farms? Sure, sure. So Kate Farms is a company that's based out of California. Um, Kate was a real person. Kate was a um, five-year-old with cerebral palsy whose parents, um, you know, basically had to come up with a solution with for her because she couldn't tolerate any of the traditional tube feeding formulas. Um, so they worked with a team of dietitians, chefs, um, scientists um, on their farm to come up with a solution for her. And that is where Kate Farms was born from. This is actually a modification of that very simple formula that they were giving her back in the day. Um, Kate is now 17 years old. She was five years old at the time. Um, you know, she is three thriving. She's still, you know, has cerebral palsy, but she's doing within her limitations. She's climbing mountains in Costa Rica. She's doing amazing things now. And and that's such a testament to what Kate Farms can do for a patient. And Kate Farms was, was born in California, but it's all over the country now. All over the country. Yes, absolutely. You can get it anywhere. How long have you been involved? I've been with the company for about six months right now. Um, I'm a dietitian by trade. I've been a dietitian for about 10 years right now. Um, so I, you know, have expert knowledge as far as nutrition goes. Kate Farms in the brochure pamphlet, Made for Tolerance to Help Kids Grow and Thrive. You use the word tolerating. Mm-hmm. When a child is in the hospital and then even leaves the hospital, but having issues with stomach. Mm -hmm. And and I remember Luke was the same thing. Um, What are some of the signs that your child is not tolerating and what should we do to change that? Sure, sure. A lot of times with tube feeding or with G-tube kiddos, um, people just assume that you're not supposed to tolerate things. People assume you're supposed to have diarrhea. People assume that you're supposed to have stomach pain, gas, bloating, things like that. That is not normal. It's not normal for those things to happen. Um, it should be just like your or my bodies. You know, the way that people tolerate a tube feeding formula should feel like you're eating a normal amount of food um, or a normal type of food. So really when it comes to tolerance, what we're looking for is, are you feeling normal? Are you feeling anything outside of your norm? That should be what feeling, what intolerance is. Now, typical signs of intolerance are going to be some of the things I mentioned before, gas, bloating, nausea, vomiting, any type of reflux, any type of belching, um, constipation, constipation and diarrhea. Absolutely. I, I would say that constipation was always for us our biggest issue right and i have to believe that that there are a number of things obviously the more water we give luke Mm -hmm. but also just the foods Mm -hmm. and so uh, what what do you what would you recommend what are some of the things that you would recommend that your child needs to think about or that you need to think about for your child? Sure. So you obviously talked about the water content. People forget that just because you're giving, you know, food via a tube, you still need water. We drink water, you and I, probably all throughout the day. It's very normal. So we forget that, you know, these people who aren't taking in food by mouth, they still need that water. So that's going to be really important. Fiber is going to be the next most important thing, I would say. And so with Kate Farms, what we've done is we've taken a mixed fiber content. There are two different types of fiber. There's soluble fiber, which is 
soft fiber that actually bulks up the stool. Um, you know, so if you're having diarrhea, you want soluble fiber. Now, if you're having constipation, you want insoluble fiber. That's the fiber that helps you go. It picks up things along the way and it helps you have a bowel movement and go to the bathroom. So what we've done with Cape Farms is we've actually put a mixed fiber component in there, something that's going to help you go to the bathroom, but also going to help those bowel movements be more normal consistency. That's what we really want is for normal. Um, um, you know, we don't want anything outside of the norm. How have things changed over the years? I know you've just been with the, the uh, company for six months, but you've been a, a dietitian from, let's say, a decade ago to today mm -hmm. for what we need to give our child who've had a brain injury. Right. Well, a decade ago, Kate Farms didn't even exist. So you think of what was actually available on the market. Um, it's these formulas that are made out of corn syrup, basically. That's what they are. Um, some of the formulas don't even have fiber in them, you know, um, and that used to be what we thought we needed. We used to think, oh, don't give fiber because fiber is going to, you know, exacerbate these, these GI problems. And we've already seen these GI problems. And we really didn't have very many alternatives to give patients um, when, when they they weren't tolerating anything. We can give medications for them. We can give, you know, um, bowel regimens and things like that. But what if we just got it right with the tube feeding formula the first time? That's one of the things that I would say has really impacted my practice up until this moment. And even before I was with Cape Farms, um, usually when someone gets a G tube placed, the dietitian or the physician will just write out orders. They're going to just decide what the patient's going to be on. What if we actually started talking to the family members about what is actually going into their body? Um, you know, if we started talking to the family members and we started laying out all these different options, we might actually start looking at those ingredients and what Kate Farms has to offer as compared to some of the other um, competitors out there. Um, Kate Farms is, just to give you kind of a quick rundown mm -hmm. of what we are, we're plant-based, we're organic, we're free of the top nine common allergens, we have no corn, we have no non-nutritive sweeteners, no stevia, no, you know, sweet low, no nothing like that that's going to make anything um, in the gut go bad. We also, we have organic agave inulin as our fiber source, which is a great source of um, fiber for the gut microbiome. Really supporting that gut microbiome can be really helpful, especially with these brain injury patients, because they're so wiped out by everything else that's going on in their body. Um, and really, you know, they're, the gut brain axis, that is all very much affected. Is, um, it very much affects how the body processes nutrition and how it eliminates nutrition. Um, so if we can kind of keep that gut microbiome intact and if we can keep it um, supplied with all the nutrition that it actually needs, then we can really help that gut to function like a normal gut should. I assume that the majority, if not all of the children we're talking about, are when they leave the hospital. Luke spent five months in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Had we had this in front of us from day one, because you hear so often that a child could improve quicker based on the nutrition that he or mm -hmm. she has during those critical first few weeks and months, how do we make a difference where this becomes something that we think about when we're in the hospital? Right, right. Well, really what it comes down to is I would say educating clinicians because I can't expect parents, parents already have a million other things on their mind. I can't expect nutrition to be at the forefront of what they're thinking. They're already thinking of so many other things. So really for me, it's about educating those clinicians and educating those physicians so that they know that there are other options. You don't just have to go with the first standard line of, of treatment, you know, there are other options out there because if your clinician is educated or if your physician is educated, they're going to want to offer you this type of option as well. The caregiver, um, I took care of Luke as, as his primary caregiver. And so many times we, as caregivers as parents, we're the ones that really could use some nutritional help mm -hmm. because we're so focused and we don't sleep enough. We're not eating well enough because we'll grab what we can when we can because we're so focused on our child. What about parents? Parents have, <laughs> parents, I should say, deserve nutrition just as much as your kiddo, just as much as anyone else. Um, you know, this is actually, we have adult products for, you know, if, if you are 
trying to give something that your child will tolerate, don't you want to know if you're going to tolerate it too? Um, you should always eat what your child is going to be eating because you want to know how they're tolerating it. You want to know how they're tasting it. You want to know how it's affecting their body because you want to try it yourself. Um, so that was what I would encourage people to do is really try it yourself. See if this is going to be beneficial for you as well. We have supplements ranging for children from one to 13, and then we have adult supplement products that are going to be ranging from 13 and up. Um, but without proper nutrition, without proper fuel, you're just going to burn out too. And, you know, that's, that's really kind of the basis of, of what we do. We forget, we break the fast in the morning, right? It's the first thing that we should be doing is, is putting something into our body to break the fast and get yourself going. But without any fuel, without any resources, your metabolism is just going to burn out. And officially that's going to, that's going to affect your brain. That's going to affect your energy levels. That's going to affect any of those reserves that you would have. Can you be specific as far as the type of supplements, the, the flavors, all the things that, that the products that you have sure. and then where we can purchase these? Sure, sure. So right now we have chocolate and vanilla flavors available. Now our flavors are a little bit more mild than what you would find with like a Pediasure or something. So if you're finding that something is too sweet, if you're finding that something kind of turns your stomach a little bit after you've consumed it or for your child that it's doing that or that they're complaining that it's too sweet, Kate Farms is going to be a great option. We also have a plain flavor and our plain is actually a flavor. It doesn't, it's not just the standard tube feeding flavor that tastes really salty and you think that's gross. Our plain flavor, they say that it tastes like the bottom of a cereal bowl. Um, so for someone who's very sensitive to taste, for someone who is, uh, you know, not tolerating or not liking a lot of those other options out there, our plain flavor, in addition to our chocolate and vanilla, is going to be a good option. Coming down the pipeline, we'll have strawberry coming out early next year. So we will have that kind of fourth flavor option that kind of complete the family of Kate Farms products. So all of these products are for G2. G-tube or oral. They can be taken both ways. And so really, if you have somebody that is taking both, or if you have somebody that's eventually trying to wean off their G-tube feeds and taking it orally, it can be used either way. So there's a less of a waste component there. How do I go about purchasing? So we are not currently available in any stores. We are currently available by prescription through your doctor. So your doctor will write a prescription. They'll send it to a DME company who will then contact you to get it shipped out to you. Um, we can always send samples through our website, www.katefarms.com. You can request samples there. You don't need a physician uh, prescription or anything like that. So if you want to try some, definitely go to our website. You can get a whole case for free. Um, and that way you can determine if it's something you're going to like, if it's something you're going to tolerate before you start spending your own money on it. Kate Farms, tell me about Kate. She's now 17. How is she doing? She's doing really, really well. Like I said, mountain climbing in Costa Rica, that's better than I can do. Mm -hmm. So quite frankly, um, you know, gaining weight, tolerating her tube feeding formula, being our namesake behind our company, she's such an inspiration for all of us. And we, we really love finding out what she's doing. You mentioned that you're a di dietitian by trade. Yes. Um, tell me how that all came to be for you. Sure. So I have type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed at the age of 7. So really for me, nutrition and dietitians were always a part of my life. So as I grew up, you know, it just kind of seemed like a natural path to follow. It wasn't until I really got into my schooling and stuff that I started learning as far as the education aspect goes. I love the as education aspect of my job, but what I really like is is critical care. I love tube feeding. I love, you know, finding what's tolerable, finding what works for the patient. I love talking to my patients and finding out, you know, kind of working with situations and, and really having to, to critically think. And so that's kind of what led me to this place on Cape Farms because I've been working in tube feeding. I've been working in the oncology space for about five years. Um, and so many of my patients were having success on Cape Farms. So when this job opportunity came around, it was a no brainer, you know, that I would go and I would be able to tell other people and educate other people about this product. It's powerful to think that because you have diabetes, what you put in your body affects your insulin, your Absolutely. blood sugar. Absolutely. And so I think it's it's uh, only fitting, appropriate that you are in this in this line of work. And, yeah. and, and Kendall, what you're doing is, is tremendous because children with brain injuries, parents are, as you mentioned earlier, 
we are so focused on what can we do next to help our child, whether it's the medicines, the therapies, but nutrition is so critical for the healing of the brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to thank you for what you're doing, and uh, thank you for being here today. Appreciate it very much. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you so much.